Okay, so imagine, let's say we have a really cool idea for a Mario Maker level. Maybe it's a stage where the floor collapses as soon as Mario looks back. Maybe it's an amazing puzzle level built around the objectively best fire spitting dinosaur in video gaming history. Or maybe it's just a cool traditional level built around a real unique gimmick. So we put in hours over hours of honest work until our level is as good as we are humanly capable of making it. And then, then we are finally able to share it with the world. We upload it. And then no one plays it. Absolutely no one. Not a single soul. That would be a pity, wouldn't it? And that's probably the experience that tens of thousands of people make every day in Super Mario Maker 2. It's time to do something against this. So today we're going to do two things. First, we're going to take a look at how the level recommendation algorithm works in Super Mario Maker 2 and what we can do to get our levels played. And afterwards, we're quickly going to discuss what Nintendo can do to improve the current situation in general. So you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so first let's talk about how the level recommendation in the original Mario Maker worked. Basically, after uploading a stage, the level immediately entered the pool from which the levels for the 100 Mario Challenge got picked. This meant that pretty much all levels were guaranteed to get at least a couple of plays. If a level got a good play to star ratio, then it stayed longer in the level pool. If it got a bad star ratio, then the level got phased out sooner. But each level got a chance. This system had a problem. The amount of hot garbage levels that get uploaded every day is just significantly higher than the amount of good levels. So when playing 100 Mario Challenge, there always appeared tons of stages that just were, well, really bad. Think about the stuff like a seesaw platform. On the one side we have the players, on the other side we have the creators. The higher one side of the seesaw tilts to the fuzzy at the top, the better. But the closer it comes to the evil coin at the bottom, the worse obviously. So the thing with this old system was that it added a lot of weight onto the shoulders of people that played 100 Mario Challenge in order to ensure that each and every creator got a fair chance. It was a system that really favored creators at the cost of how good the actual level pool in the 100 Mario Challenge was. It was a bit one-sided, which is probably the reason why Nintendo decided to do something about this one-sidedness with Mario Maker 2. And boy, did they shoot over the mark. So let me pull out the seesaw again. Um, where did I put it? Um, I'm sorry. Um, I really need to clean up down there. Um, just give me a sec. Here it is. Okay, so what they basically did was to really aggressively shift the weight from the player side of things towards the creator side of things. They made a system that heavily favors a good level pool in the Endless Challenge at the cost that now not each level gets a chance anymore. Or to be precise, levels don't get any chance at all anymore. The endless level pool consists, as far as I can tell, solely out of levels that already got who raid at least once. New levels are completely removed from the pool. So this leaves us with a question. If new levels don't enter the level pool, then how are they supposed to ever get played in the first place? Well, that's what the new levels section is for. The idea here is basically that a new level only enters the new level section and that it gets played and rated there. Depending on whether the course gets liked in the new section, it then is either allowed to enter the real level pool or it disappears into oblivion. Okay, that sounds actually pretty good so far, doesn't it? There is only a tiny problem that makes the whole current system collapse. The new level queue is ridiculously behind. At the time of writing this, the new level pool is so flooded that it actually is over two days behind. So if we were to upload a course right now, then it would take Take at least 48 hours for it to even appear in the new section for the very first time and only then it would even get a chance to enter the normal level pool where a stage then usually gets 50 to 100 plays pretty organically within a day. That's our main reason where levels don't get played by anyone after uploading them. They just get stuck somewhere in the clocked new levels pipeline. So there are only two ways for the new queue to ever get cleared to the point that it actually starts to show. Well, 
actually new levels, either a lot more people start to play levels directly out of the new queue or people quit the creation side of Mario Maker 2 faster than they quit the play side. So at least in my opinion, the first thing is unlikely to happen and the second thing is really not desirable. So Nintendo has to do something about this. But before we talk about what Nintendo can do to solve this tiny mishap they caused, let's talk about what we can actually do to get our stages played. So the current system may be a bit messy, but it follows one simple rule that we actually kind of have control over. As soon as our level got a single play and like, it starts to get organically recommended. Meaning that all we have to do is to get one person to play and to like our level. So the best way to ensure this is obviously just to ask a friend, if present, to play our stage, to like it and the problem is solved. So for anyone who happens to have a couple of useful friends that own Mario Maker 2, just do that and that should solve the problem. For anyone else, there are a couple of other things we could try. So first, there are several Super Mario Maker 2 level exchanges going on right now. The biggest and to my knowledge busiest is the one in the Super Mario Maker 2 Reddit. So the idea of those level exchanges is actually surprisingly simple. Basically, we hop in, play a couple of levels that other people posted there, maybe quickly type a bit of feedback and afterwards we post our own level, which then hopefully gets played by a couple of people and thus allows the stage to enter the level pool. There's a link to the level exchange in the description. The third and probably most inconvenient but also most interesting way to get the crucial first play onto our stage would be to hop to Twitch to type in Super Mario Maker 2 and to sort by least views. There are usually tons of small streamers streaming with only a handful of viewers that we can politely ask whether they are willing to quickly check out a stage we made. So doing this to get a single play on a level is a bit awkward but that's something I'd actually really recommend to do every once in a while for everyone who likes stuff like that. The really cool thing about it is that we actually get to see someone to play for our stage, which is something that can really improve our own understanding of our own level design. Okay, so all of those things are outside of Mario Maker 2. Is there actually something we can do in Mario Maker 2 that helps our levels to get played? Well, kind of. So the thing we can do is to head into the new section, to pick a couple of courses there that look interesting, to play them, to leave a like and to leave a comment. So this helps us in two ways. First, it gets a couple of stages out of the new queue, which allows our own stages to move upwards. But second and more importantly, if we play, say, 15 courses and leave a like and a nice comment in all of them, then the chances are high that one of those 15 people sees that we played his or her stage, is super happy about the comment and decides to check out our levels because they're curious who this obviously very nice person is that played and liked their course. Don't leave comments like, could you play my levels please? That just doesn't work. Instead, try to comment honest, nice, normal things about the course. Stuff like really liked the boss fight or really enjoyed what you did with the seesaw platform, stuff like that. This gives us a good chance that the player might check out our levels alongside with earning us valuable karma points that we at a later point can spend for a huge lottery winning. At least I'm assuming that's how karma works. Okay, so that's what we can do to get the precious first play on our levels. So to be honest, none of this stuff is optimal. It's just all that we can do currently. I honestly think that Nintendo has to do something about the current system since, you know, if the best way to get plays in the current system is to turn off the game, go to Reddit and to try to advertise there, then that's a pretty big red flag that the current system isn't working that great. So what can Nintendo do about this? Well, it's kind of complicated to be honest, since there definitely is an upside to the system. The quality of levels in the Endless Challenge is just vastly higher than it was before. So I honestly think they shouldn't tinker too much with this. I think the breakpoint of the current system is that the new queue is just hopelessly overflown. If a new level would actually appear in the new queue while the level is still, well, new, then the whole system would be functional. There are two things they could try to make this work. First, they really should add a new separate game mode that just features the levels from the new section to encourage people to actually play new levels. Maybe something like Fuzzy's first clear rally, where the goal is to get a streak of as many first clears in a row as possible and skipping a stage resets the win streak. Such a game mode would be incredibly chaotic since the difficulty of the stages would be all over the place as well as the average quality of the levels, but I think this could be some thing that at least some people enjoy and it doesn't get into the way of people that don't enjoy stuff like this. The second thing that they should do is to simply start to add unplayed levels into the level pool whenever the new level queue is clocked. Like as soon as the new level queue is over an hour behind, start to take every 10th level in Endless out of the new level section until it is less than an hour behind again. And if the new section is over 4 hours behind, just up this number to, I don't know, every 6th stage. The idea here is that the Endless challenge 
overall keeps the great level pool it currently has, but whenever the balance between play and create mode shifts too far towards the play side of things, the system tries to balance that out so that no creator ends up with a stage that gets zero plays for days. Hooray! Alright, so before we wrap this up, just one more thing. Let's do another small level exchange thing in the comments as some form of first play, first aid. So the comments below will be sorted by new this time. If you have a course you would love to get played, just play two or three other levels that are currently posted at the top of the comment section and then post your own course alongside with its name, how difficult it is meant to be and a quick description. Hopefully this helps some of you to get those very valuable first plays. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs thumbs up and maybe feel especially one-sided CISO platform today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope that all of you have a wonderful day, that all your levels get played and to see you soon. Goodbye!